Saint, aka the property pastor, coming at you with another great video, just talking about real estate investing. I want to share some valuable tips for you to uh, help you along in your journey. Um, today's video is really going to focus on our landlord corner, um, and the topic of today's video is really about what do you do in between tenants. Um, so we're actually sitting in a vacant um, unit in one of my four places that I just bought earlier this year, and uh, we just had a tenant to move out. So. What I like to do in between tenants when they move out is actually go into the property, make some upgrades and things like that. When we purchased this particular property, um, it was already full, you know, I inherited the tenants that already had four folks in here. And uh, we kind of just wanted to leave things the way they were and wait until leases ran out so that we could go ahead and make upgrades and things like that. So uh, just this month, um, I had a tenant to actually uh, move out. Their lease was up, so they decided they weren't going to relocate to another area, which for us prevent, presents a great opportunity. What, we're gonna, what we do in those situations is we come in, just take the unit down for a couple a month or so, do some upgrades. And in this particular unit, we're actually going to uh, upgrade the cabinetry. So behind me, these cabinets are really old. I'm guessing probably put in either in the early 80s, uh, if not the 70s. So they're old. Um, and, and they're really overdue for some for some upgrades. Like I said, we just bought this thing in May, so typically you're gonna have deferred maintenance. Um, you're gonna have lots of different things that you get. You're gonna have tenants who have, you know, their old habits from the previous owner, so you gotta get them trained to what you wanna do. Um, so I've just hired a property management company to oversee this, this property. Um, so we're gonna be in here just trying to get leases turned over, um, get rents up to where they are. You know, so this property had deferred maintenance. It actually has undervalued rents. Um, so what this allows us to do by this particular unit is actually to come in here, um, do some upgrades. We're going to do flooring. We're going to do cabinetry, as you can see. We'll put baseboard cabinets over here. We'll put um, uh, wall cabinets up here to the top, repaint everything, new flooring throughout. You know, it's got carpet in here, which is super old. Um, one thing I don't like to put into my units is, is a lot of carpet because it gets uh, torn up and beat up. You got to clean it in between every tenant. So I prefer to either have hardwood or some type of uh, laminate flooring. Um, I do use a product that um, was like a vinyl adhesive plank, which is pretty nice. You get it down at Home Depot, it comes in like three foot sections. But I love this stuff. It's affordable, it goes down really quick, really easy, and it, it's, uh, it, it's great for high traffic. So we'll probably put that um, in this particular unit. But like I said, I mean, we're, we're just going to take advantage of this opportunity to actually raise our rents over time. Um, we've already reached out to all of our tenants just to know, let them know, it's like, hey, we're bringing the company in. We're going to be making some changes around here as far as the you know maintenance items we're going to be fixing. Uh, we're going to make upgrades over time. We're going to bring a professional uh, feel, you know, to the property. Um, this particular fourplex was uh, owned by just a you know a single owner. He had one one property that he had basically maintained himself over time. So we've come aboard, just found a lot of deferred maintenance. Um, you know, tenants are you know doing their thing. So we're just going to try to get them up on our way that we do things in our systems of maintenance, our systems of rent collection. You know, the way we go keep the property out out in you know the grounds and whatnot, the landscaping and all those kind of things. So I'm really excited. But like I said, I think this is a good opportunity, and I will definitely advise you in between um, tenants, you know, to take advantage of going to a unit and do more than just paint it. Right? You know, it's you know you should be doing inspections anyway, just kind of keeping an eye out on things. But I can tell in this unit. You know, there's a lot to be done in here. So, I mean, we've got stuff in the bathroom to do. Uh, we've got flooring to do. Um, we're gonna be working on a little bit of tile. Um, appliances are actually in decent shape. So it looks like they've got a pretty good uh, refrigerator back here. Stove's in pretty good shape. So we'll hold on to that. We don't really need to change much there. But there's some wood rot in the floors and stuff like that. So this this house was built, I think, in the late 70s. Uh, we will ultimately actually add it. There's no, one other thing, there's no central heating and air, so it's baseboard, heat, and window units. So we'll probably not add um, HVAC right away because what's gonna happen is after we made all these additions, we're gonna be dropping a good amount of money in here. It's gonna take a while to recoup that. So what we'll probably do is just do the cabinetry, the flooring, um, you know, really give a nice, uh, you know, a great coat of paint, obviously, you know, put some, um, you know, upgrade the AC units and stuff like that. Do the bathroom work in the, um, and, and we got some drywall repair and things like that. You know, I'm looking at some really old light fixture. We'll probably change that out. But basically, we're just making some changes to spruce the place up to attract. Our, our, our hope is that we'll get at least $100 additional in rent for this unit. So um, if you figure, you know, we're going to put five or six grand in here, that's going to take a while to pay back, pay itself off. Uh, the other benefit, though, is that the, the property overall will probably appreciate a little bit better. So I purchased this house. Um, through seller financing, right? So I've got, but it's got a balloon on the back end. So I've got a certain amount of time 
before I have to refinance and um, basically uh, cash out my original seller. So with this change, it will actually increase the uh, property value through forced appreciation, which is something I love to do. I've done it on multiple properties, come in and taking them over, uh, you know, redid the units, redid the outside. Uh, one thing that one thing that is nice about this unit is that it has um, final windows in it. So that's a definite plus. A lot of times I buy these units, they're older houses and, they, and they're the single pane windows and they're just all old and um, just, you know, drafty and all that kind of stuff so just want to give you a quick look um, we'll probably do a walkthrough here in a second just kind of let you see the state of the property and and then we'll actually post an update video later so you can kind of see what things look like so let's go take a look so here's the kitchen area like i mentioned we're definitely going to be replacing those cabinets they got to go they got to be deleted you know they're they're a mess so we're going to take care of that we're going to redo flooring in here uh wall cabinets they'll go we'll probably add another section right over here um just to give more space like I mentioned, the um, the appliances, they're in pretty good shape, you know, fairly new. Stove's in good shape as well as the uh, refrigerator. And then we go down this hallway. The weirdest thing is that there's actually a curvature to this hallway. And the reason they did that was because they were trying to fit a stairwell. So it took me a while to figure that out. But this carpet has got to go. This brown carpet has got to go. All right. So we'll pull that all up, put new flooring in. So this wallpaper, actually that's got to go. Windows are in pretty good shape. We'll put a, like I said, we'll, we'll take care of the HVAC setup here and the floor in here, that's gotta go as well. So, flash, um, sitting room, depends on the, the um, tenant. Got a little bit of uh, ceiling work to do, new uh, ceiling fixtures, we'll cha change those out. Um, plenty of paint's gonna go into this unit and uh, here's the bathroom. The bathroom definitely needs some work. So we're gonna put a new bath surround. Um, see, they got the old, uh, Tile set up in here, toilet, we'll put a new toilet in here. Vanity is actually in good shape, so we'll probably keep that. And then there's just a little bit of, obviously a new medicine cabinet, that kind of thing. A little bit of tile work repair that we gotta do down here on the side. So we'll get our contractors in here and get this thing shined up, looking real good. Hopefully about a month or so, we'll be ready to go, ready to turn it over. Um, and then when we turn it over, we'll have, we'll get ourselves a new tenant, uh, higher rent, and also some forced appreciation. So that's the Hey, so that's the unit. Hey, I appreciate you guys checking out our video today. Um, make sure if you have any questions that you drop them in the comment section. We'll make sure we get them answered for you. Um, thanks so much for checking us out on the channel. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and I share this video to another landlord who needs to, needs to see it and who needs to benefit from it. God bless you guys. Thanks a lot. Take care.